Hey everybody, today we're gonna to go over five hip mobility exercises that you can perform at home, starting with the posterior hip rock. So we're gonna start in the hands and knees position. We're going to step one leg back. We're going to pivot our foot so that our hip moves out and our toe moves in. We're gonna widen that hand that's on the same side as that hip. We're gonna move in that direction as well. We're gonna to move toward this outside back hip. <sighs> Should feel a stretch in the, the glutes. So make sure that the hip is rotated and that we are kind of bending outward. Okay, I'll show you on the other side. <sighs> make sure the knee is underneath the hip. A lot of people will have the knee too high or too low, or mainly too high. So typically you want to see that knee right under the hip, rotate, and then you're moving out. So that's the posterior hip rock. Go for about five to 10 rocks on each side. Hold any of those spots for as long as desirable. Next is the 90-90. So pretend there's an X here. We're gonna to try to line up my knee and hip on one line of the X and I'm going to move back to the center so I can put my foot, knee and ankle on the line. I'm going to look straight ahead so my chin is over the knee. Look straight ahead as I hinge forward here so I don't want to round the back. I'm going to hinge forward, keep my front and back knee and feet down on the ground. I should feel a stretch in that outside hip here or glute. You can reach forward with either hand, okay? And then for the back hip, I'm going to bring my hands behind me, rotate my shoulders toward my uh, backside, and I'm going to try to keep my knees down as I do that. So corkscrew my hands into the ground, rotate toward that back heel and foot, and then if you can reach for that heel and for the hip and hold and try to keep that opposite knee down. Okay, option two or modified option is just keep the hands behind you and hold this position. Okay, and then you would switch side. You wanna hold for about 30 seconds on each side. Okay, uh, we'll talk more about isometric training in another video. The next is gonna be a straddle hip opener. So feet are wide. Toes are up, hands are behind. Same thing, corkscrew the hands behind to give your body a little bit more support and to get your body vertical. So we don't wanna be flexed forward, okay? You'll see a lot of this in this position. We wanna see the head and neck over the hips. And then from here, you can bend the knees just slightly. If you need to prop the hips up using a pad, it might be beneficial. And then we're gonna hinge forward. Breathe. And then we're gonna to rotate toward one leg. So this, I just call this kickstands uh, and framing the knee here. Hinge to one leg. Focus on your nostril breathing. Inhale through the nose and you can exhale through the mouth. Nice and slow. Okay, the next one is going to be um, the butterfly stretch. So for the straddle stretch, make sure you hold each side for about 10 seconds, okay? That's all that is needed there. Uh, we'll talk more about isometrics in a later video. The next stretch is going to be a The next stretch is going to be a butterfly stretch, so I'm going to bring the bottoms of my feet together. I'm going to pull those heels toward my body. And then I'm gonna to try to press the knees to the ground. So this is more of a short lever adductor stretch where the opposite, the, the one before was a long lever adductor stretch. Okay, we're gonna to try to press those knees toward the ground and then relax. 
Press those knees toward the ground. Trying to get the knees to touch the ground. You can put pads there for some tactile cueing if you want, and then relax and perform about five to eight reps, okay? So that's butterfly straddle for one more. What would be another one? Hip opener. The last one is a figure four on the back. I'm going to lay on my back, cross one ankle or um, leg over the other, and then all I'm going to do from here is just push that knee forward and bring my head down on the ground. Take a couple inhales and exhales. Then I'm going to actively bring the opposite leg off the ground, hold on to the foot and knee, and I'm going to just kind of push the knee forward and pull the foot toward me. Okay, and then I can progress to bring my hands behind the hamstring. I don't really like this as much as I like this. Okay, and after that, you can also make sure you have no knee pain. If you have knee pain, you can stop this one, but you can cradle the leg here or perform a supine pigeon. And you can perform circles here. Okay, so example on the other side, cross it over. First hold here, head down, push the knee forward, lift up, pull the foot, push the knee, breathe. If you want to hold on behind here, you can. And then what we'll do is just relax. Let's see, we did that. Then we'll bring it into the chest, into that pigeon. Pull the knee into the chest and shoulder and ribs. And create circles. You can try to get over top of the, the ankle. You can come underneath if you want, or you can try to wrap your hand around the top of the foot and shin, as long as the knee doesn't hurt. Then we can maximize those stretches by activating the glutes and the hips themselves. So we can start with the bridge of the hip lift, focusing on squeezing the glutes, holding for 10 seconds, um, holds, and then performing three sets and then trying it with the toes off the ground. And you can also try a single leg. Okay, so those would be some hip exercises you want to perform after your stretches. We can also perform some hip abductions with the toe down. <sighs> Exhale as the foot goes up. Control it on the way down. <sighs> you can do about eight reps on each side for about two to three sets. Then we can go into some hip rotations, nice and controlled here, each way, about five on each side, um, and then maybe doing some downward dog just to kind of flush it out, cat and cow, um, and then maybe sitting on the heels, and that would be it. So that would be a good hip mobility practice you could do every single day. All right, if you have other videos you want to watch, just um, add a suggestion or post below. Thanks.